السلام علیکم مائی نیم از سائیکالوجسٹ سیدہ ثنا امجد اینڈ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ان دس سیمسٹر آئی ول ٹیچ یو سائیکالوجی سو آئی ول ٹرائی مائی لیول بیسٹ ان آڈر ٹو میک دس سبجیکٹ لٹل بٹ مور ایزی اینڈ مور انٹرسٹنگ ان آڈر ٹو مینٹین یور انتزیزم ان آڈر ٹو گیو یو سم ریئلسٹک پکچر اباؤٹ day to day routine of life so let's start our first topic our first topic is introduction to psychology now let's see the definition of psychology what is psychology psychology is defined as the scientific study of behavior and mental processes scientific study of behavior and mental processes it means that behavior is our action our way that we act towards other this is what we call behavior and mental processes in mental processes we in psychology we term it cognition cognition is our thinking our decision making our judgment our flight and fight responses flight and fight responses are related to sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system flight and fight responses are the abrupt uh, action in order to overcome or to minimize the harmness of a situation clear so each and every mental capacity each and every mental criteria is related to cognition so according to west psychology is the study of behavior or action towards other and our mental processes the way we think the way we perceive the way we act clear so this is what we call psychology there are lots and lots of definition about psychology different researcher different scholars define psychology in their own terms if we look towards islamic perspective psychology means study of mind and soul but soul is in- invisible entity as we said this is a scientific study so psychology is a social science social sciences means that we can conduct experiment on day to day phenomena on day to day life so science basically based on positivism and empiricism positivism and empiricism means the things that are visible the things that we can experience so these are the two phenomena that is uh very important that is vital for any scientific experiment basically if we look towards the history of psychology so the word psychology came from a greek word psyche which means to breathe spirit soul and the greek word logia means that is study of something so islamic definition of psychology is the study of mind and soul but west has converted this all into behavior according to western perspective psychology is the study of mind and behavior so <clears throat> if we see the islamic era soul is the basic criteria soul is the basic belief that we muslim have we have faith on it okay keep remember this the differences between soul and nafs and the differences between mind and brain soul is that when a person is alive so we call soul when a person is dead and the soul comes out, uh, sorry when a person is alive we called it nafs and when person is no more when a person is expired then the nafs converted into ruh clear and the differences between mind and brain is mind and brain is mind is used for human being that having intellectual capacities that having reasoning power that having flight and fight responses that having abrupt abrupt and accurate response to any situation this is what we call mind and a brain is animal's entity that having no cognition on a basis of intellectual capacities 
human are superior than any other creature father of psychology is william warden according to william warden's psychology is the study of consciousness consciousness there are two states one is consciousness consciousness means the state in which we are aware about our surrounding about our orientation orientation we know that how we behave in a particular situation how we act in a particular situation how we uh, handle the particular phenomena so this is what we call consciousness awareness of a mind is called a consciousness unconsciousness unawareness of a mind in which we are uh, unable to distinguish between right and wrong to distinguish between day and night to distinguish between uh, what is going to be occur and what has to be done so this is we call unconscious okay according to william james i have uh, told you before that there are lots and lots of definition about different researchers and scholars about psychology but the basic and simple definition according to day to day life routinic life as psychology is all about our routine life na it's what we call the social sciences so social sciences is social sciences mean that it's a science of your and our it's a science of your life and our life so in day to day life is simple definition is the study of mind and behavior okay what william james said william said the description and explanation of state of consciousness again same phenomena william macdougall what william macdougall said he said positive science of the conduct of living creature psychology is a science which aims to give us a better understanding and control of our behavior of the organism as a whole in our routine life in our day to life in day to day life what we do in psychology our day to day life we have given them a terminologies clear this is what we call psychology but the emergence of each and every knowledge but the emergence of each and every education each and every knowledge each and every discovery each and every innovation or invention are rooted back into quran majid the history of psychology is very old according to one estimate psychology is more than 5 lakh lakhs year old but as a human we believe but as a muslim we believe that it's the only study of mind and soul if we control our nafs then we control our desires then we control our lust then we can control our greed but if we are unable to control our nafs as is, uh, imam ghazali explained nafs the three basic criteria of nafs there are others many other muslim scholars muslim writer muslim philosopher who explain soul but as far as my knowledge as far as my study concerned so the most authentic definition the most authentic explanation of nafs and soul is done by uh, hazrat imam ghazali rahmatullah alaihi according to him there are three stages of nafs nafs e amara nafs e lawama and nafs e mutmaina nafs e amara is a state of soul is a state of nafs in which after doing biggest sin after uh, conducting negative attitude after misconducting anything any deeds we have no regret having no regret on anything this is what we call nafs e amara nafs e lawama is after doing any misdeed you can feel regret and you can uh, pretense and you can repentance from god for what you have done and nafs e mutmaina the most pure and pure soul is nafs so link this definition of nafs of uh, imam ghazali to psychology so purely psychology is a study of mind and soul soul is nafs nafs is 
when we are alive and ru is when a person is no more when a person is expired so we call the nerves into ru if we control our nerves or on a basis of nerves we behave on a basis of our nerves we act clear according to apa american psychological association we are following apa according to apa psychology is a study of mind and behavior the discipline embraces all aspects of human experiences from function of the brain to the actions of the nation from child development to care for the age in every conceivable settings from scientific research centers to mental health care services the understanding of behavior is an enterprise of psychologist now according to american psychological association in psychology we study human mind and behavior human routine life day to day life from birth till the day of death from birth till death our body continuously ch uh, changed our body continuously uh become weaker and uh, stronger so from birth there are some things some gifts that are given to us by allah almighty on a time of a birth number first is it it by birth a baby is all aware about how to cry how to suck how to smile how to cuddle this is what we call it if on a birth allah almighty has not given him the capacity or the capabilities to suck then can a baby can survive no a child cannot because food is the most vital part to survive from that day from the day of birth to the day of death we passes through different stages of development like uh, different uh, psychologists explain different developmental stages freud sigmund freud father of known as father of psychoanalysis defined three stages of development eric erikson stages of uh, eight stages of development maslow hierarchy of needs call roger humanistic psychologist ideal self these are what we can see the pure and uh, ideal self is in islamic term we can see the pure and the most uh, muttaqi person now what are goals of psychology there are five four basic goals of psychology number one is description number second is explanation number third one is prediction and number fourth one is influence so the first goal of psychology is description describe or gather information about the behavior being studied so this is the first goal and the first goal is to observe behavior and to describe it often in a minute detail what was observed as objectively as possible second goal explanation explain why people behave as they do as hypotheses are tested more complex explanation can be formed theories formed after extensive testing of hypotheses theories change as new data improves our understanding so good theories cause us to validate and alter principles that help explain to predict observable behavior this is what we call an explanation while description comes from observable data psychologists must go beyond what is obvious and explain their observation in other words why did the subjects do what he or she did based on observable behavior psychologists can infer mental processes from behavior this that we call the infer of mental processes from behavior is the explanation of future behavior this is what we call prediction of a future behavior 